Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Master of Orion. We are here for round two, after how quickly that last one round it wrapped up. It seems that we will be ready to go in for a brand new game. Aileen from the cloudy planet Altair. The proud and Alkari are an old race. This guy's just going to talk a lot. The silicoids have been added, all which honestly look awesome. Their unique composition. The silicoids are an ancient race of silicon-based life forms. They are going to be chrysalon. Their impressively long lifespans. Yeah, he's just going to keep talking. <laughs> have resulted in a civilization. I like that. Of relatively few individuals with lots of experience. All right, so we are going to go with humans, After and we're going to go for a trade party here. And faced with dwindling natural resources on their home planet of Earth, humanity finally came together to form a consolidated government, replacing the many nations once dotting its political landscape. Okay, so we're going for a trade, and so let's see. So we go for a circle go for a let's go we're going big today we're gonna go for now I wish I knew what the um, pixel ships pirates will keep monsters will keep minor sieves Ooh, minor sieves are in now racial traits balance starts victory type excellence oh wait that's setting the turn length isn't it we're gonna turn off the excellence because I think that's just a time-based one. We're going to have diplomatic, technological. Hold on. Um, let's just make it longer. Like, add an extra zero. So it's a long ways out for an excellence victory. Most likely we'll do a victory of a different sort. All right. AI opponent seven. Uh, I'll... Kari, Bolarathi, Darlok, Cylons, Mishrins, Melklar, Clacon. Interesting mixture. Let's see. Difficulty. We played on normal last time, so we're going to play on hard this time. Galaxy Age will stick with average. So. And hey, if I die. So be it. That's not the end of the world, right? I'm not a strategic genius. So, we'll see. So, anyways, this time, yes, we are shooting for a economic slash diplomatic style game. So we're going to be making, making nice with our neighbors, not beating the um, snot out of them like the Mechlar did. I think I'll do the silicoids next time. I've always liked the silicoids with the foodless... Uh-oh. With the foodless economy they've got. Okay, well, I hope that hasn't crashed. You might be looking at a blank screen while the world finishes... The universe finishes generating here. Okay, I'm just going to... The break the recording... Up. After this video, a dream once thought impossible, all of mankind has come together as a single world of traders and diplomats, explorers and scientists, pressing toward the final frontier. Venturing forth from their blue planet Earth, they now seek to explore space, discover ancient civilizations, and coexist peacefully with their neighbors from a position of strength and solidarity. Sounds good to me. All right. So, yeah, give me one second here. I am going to... I am Victoria, your personal advisor. Mm -hmm. It is my job to help you manage our people's needs and keep you updated on what's happening on the furthest reaches of our dominion. Okay, so just give me a second to reset the uh, recording here, and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, guys, we're back. Um, yes. So, we have some Excuse fleets. Yeah, um, I may have to make her be, qu be quiet. I know a lot of this already. Scout number one. 
We need to find out what kind of planets are in each of these systems. Oh, a planetless... Oh, no, I take that back. There's two planets in that one. All right. So our colony ship's going to wait for Intel for the moment. So you're just going to fortify there for the moment. Okay. So humanity. Well, there's not a lot we can build right now, so we might as well get... Let's just get... Well, I think a balanced production is going to be the best bet for the moment. 25 turns to get a colony ship out. Yeah. So let's do it this way. We know that there are two planets in this star system, so you're going to head that way. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Okay, so let's see. So economics. Fungal farms will give a food bonus for bad planets, which could be good, depending on what we find out there. Physics will get us... Ooh, the automated factory. That's probably not a bad thing to... Although that's only plus two production. That's some better stuff there. We don't care about military right now. I think... I think economics to start would be a good bet. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So our scouts are going to have to just get rolling. I think I will just send it straight to this star system here. My frigate can stay here in the home world. Okay, we're losing food if I do that. We're not growing very fast right now. So patience will just have to be the name of the game right now. So we got here. We've got... Oh, we don't... Oh, it's not revealing the planets when we discover... Oh, right, that was a thing that didn't happen until um, we'd actually visited the planets, was it? Onwards. So we got here. We've got a plain old, an ultra rich barren world. Now that's with artifacts. That's pretty good. That's one we can definitely work with. And here we have a abundant resources swamp world. Nice. I think our next build might actually have to be. Oh, we'll see. Let's see what the rest of this star system looks like, and we'll take it from there. Two... Ooh, okay, so, so our uh, high two is going to be a very good star system with two ultra-rich worlds Pardon in it. Me, President. Okay. Our first new colony already. Actually, better luck than we had in our first game, because it wasn't a, a gas giant-only planet right next door. So, low max population, but it is ultra-rich, and we'll be able to work on that later. Okay. So, population growth is low, so we need... Right now? I think we're going to put you over on food. There we go. So that you can get some population growth going. And we'll put the, uh... Okay. Minister's taxation on a planet's connecting pop... Um, it says it collects credits, but I'm not clear on exactly how that works. 120 turns for a starbase right now. We'll just spend the 40 turns building a research lab. And you are going to make your way to the next star. Oop. Pirate fleet. Pirate fleet. Oh, 
How powerful is this thing? Powerful enough to be of concern. President, if I may. All right. Well, the scout's going to have to continue what he was doing, which is exploring the universe. We'll have our frigate go out and uh, snag that anomaly. Actually, no, our frigate's got to stay here. You. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait the 20 turns here. Let's see where he's heading. Ooh, uh-oh, what was that? President, if I may. Electromagnetic disturbance. What you thought was another primitive planet Ooh. appears to be teeming with life. Its dominant civilization, the dog-like Zarks, welcome you with crude barking noises, recognizing your technological superiority on the spot. Okay. Let's... What's it going to take? All right, so this is the part we're going to have to figure out. So they're warriors. Gift... Okay. Zarconia. So we, okay, so now we've got something completely new we got to figure out. We got to figure out how to get these guys be, to become part of our empire. Sorry for the interruption, President. Mhm. Mm so independent planets inhabit single colonies with no interest in expansion or military dominance. They produce and build like any other race, but lack space traveling capabilities and do not build fleets. Independent planet can produce, provide a bonus to production, research, food, or credits according to their class once allied with a race. They can also share resources when in good relations with them. Consider heeding their requests and giving them credits to make them your allies. Demanding credits and attacking the planet or colonizing near them before becoming an ally will affect the relationship negatively. Cool. So in other words, um, Zarconia Prime is off limits for the time being. All right. What are our odds on this fight? We've got good chance as long as I take command. I think... I'm going to probably wish I had another ship in this, but... Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay, they've uh, adjusted it. Ooh, we've got symbol-based uh, combat now. Let's see what we can do with some dodging if we play our cards carefully here. I think we have something of an advantage right now. Excellent. Fire. Fire those rockets. Fire the rockets! Come on, you can do it. Excellent, okay. Come on, rockets. Okay, let's take a break here, let those rockets come back. There we go. Oh man, another miss. Come on, you can do it. Oh good, we're almost there. Nice! little maneuvering. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get in a position where we can find this space pirate colony, which is most likely located right here. Now the question is, can I... Okay. Right now, they're pretty happy with us, but... Let's see what we got here. Ooh! Zine Prime, an ocean, a rich ocean world. Nice. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go through here. These first turns are always slowish, aren't they? How are we doing here? 16 turns left on this colony ship. Still can't rush build it. And probably won't be able to rush build it. Oh, right. Well, nobody else is going to go after that anomaly anytime soon, so... Oh, another star system. What we're doing is we're hoping to get down here and find the uh, pirate base. Nice. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Okay. 50% of production output to credits and more credits per population points. So, Xeno Relationships, Embassy Treaty. Well, if we're trying to go alliance-oriented, although we could use... That only is gonna, only going to take... Yeah. The Xeno Relations Council, the Terran Revenue Service, thinks there is much to gain from this discipline. Interesting. Automated factory and neutron blaster. Well, I think biology is a good Terrific. bet. Alright. Ooh, this is a good world. A good potential. A desert world. That's cool. Yeah. So hopefully our frigate can get into a position to blockade. Aha! What do we have here? This is GNN, Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the <laughs> galaxy's most reputable news source. <laughs> All right, well, there goes GNN. So we've got an electromagnetic disturbance in this star system. All right, we've got a, ooh, a large normal gravity arid world with, well, okay, poor. That sucks a little. And then we've got a small, okay, it's not a very good system. Definitely lower on the priority network. Let's see, what can we do with these guys? Let's give them another 50. Done, okay. No quests yet. Ah, yes it is the pirate base, isn't it? Alright, well that will let us blockade. We'll see what kind of shape we are in to take on that pirate fleet. Oh, okay, well, apparently they're coming after us. We've got good odds, but we're definitely going to drive. Okay, they're actually initiating the fight this time. Get this show on the road. I do believe we outrange them by quite a bit, so. Alright, that's good. Alright, that's one down. Alright, let's get this going. Perfect. Very carefully dodging around everything. Good. All right, you're going to go blockade the... Okay. So for the moment, we've got this blockaded. We can't do anything other than guarding this world, but... It's a pretty crappy world, too.
Come on, soul. Only nine turns left on that new colony ship. Excellent. Ooh, minor civilization message. Requires the microbiotics technology. Do I have microbiotics? Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, we're not that far off from it. So, message from a minor sieve. Accept that. Okay, so they want um, that tech. Let's give them 50 more. And we're going to go for the microbiotics tech, because, well, there's no reason not to. Ooh, a abundant ores swamp world. Nice, and then a abundant radiated world. Not so helpful. Let's go see what's down this one. Two more worlds. Okay, let's see what this one is. All right, so this is a not a great star system, what with being radiated and all that jazz, but. Excuse me. Okay, so just Excuse a little. Oh, and population, colony, colony's population is growing, which is good because that means now we have somebody making food and somebody who's making production. We'll get these going much faster. Now then. Government support. Colonial revenue services. Actually, no, we'll get the hydroponic. Biospheres or... Oh, no, let's get colonial revenue going. Because money. We are humanity. Money is important. So we got here. We've got a ultra-rich radiated world. So another really mediocre one, but hey, at least we can do something about a radiated Welcome world. Welcome to GNN Galactic News Network. Bulrathi are flying out in the front. Whoa, Bulrathi Empire has grown in strength. Okay, they've definitely fixed up those um uh, voiceovers. All right, and you. We're gonna go down the space lanes to there. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Automated factory, a neutron blaster. Just okay. a minute of your time, President. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Let me check my research. Where are we heading? Research continues as expected, President. This one is military advisors. Well, hey, I didn't. I didn't authorize that. We wanted. Hold on, microbiotics. There it is. Oh, I guess engine. Okay, I guess that was the. Uh... So we're going to get biotech. We're going to get miniaturization missiles level. Okay, they've added miniaturization in now, too. And our atmospheric manure. I think those are probably good targets. Not perfect, but. I think getting. Alright, I was going to go xeno relations, but. We'll have to see how things go. If something comes up, we can always change our uh, goals. Okay, this is, could be a very good one. All right, we got gas giant. Okay, next turn we get our. Um... Excuse me, President. Excellent. Okay, normal gravity, abundant resources. Is there anything we can do better? It is a swamp world, so that does make it a good target for our purposes. I think that's going to be our good bet right now. Although, actually, if we do this one first, 
exactly the same. Medium Swamp Abundant, Medium Swamp Abundant, but that'll uh, secure a bit more border edging for us. All right, with that done, now then, we can... get some production going, queue up colonial revenue circle, or a research, no, 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 okay, that's supposed to be an automated factory, and then we'll queue up colonial rev, oh, hold on, show queue, okay, there we are. All right. Automated factory, colonial revenue services. <sighs> Biospheres. Actually, no, then um, colony ship, barring any other unexpected... Actually, no, we'll just stop there. We should review this fairly regularly. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. Okay, so we've got a Abundant Baron, a Rich Baron, an Asteroid Field, and a Gas Giant. So that one's got a lot of future potential. Okay. Hey, Pirate Fleet. What do we have here? We have a single... Two pirate raiders. <sighs> Much prefer... I'm actually quite liking the combat system now that I've actually figured it out. Alright, so we're going to let him fire off the rockets and then do a quick a pullback see what happens from that. Didn't quite take him out. So we're going to have to do that again. There we go. That should do that. Good. Okay. Good. Another very smooth fight. Excellent. We're keeping that mess under control. That's excellent news to me. A medium desert world. 14 turns on biotech. All right, now we got a new ship design, the Destroyer, which just includes the planetary bombardment. Okay, they've completely reorganized this system here. Let's see. How, oh, right, I need to go to the edit window. Hmm, not... I kind of like the old one myself, but maybe there's a reason why they decided to go with this style. Just two looks right now. Okay, that'll be fine for now. Alright, you're just going to stay fortified. And onward we go. And we've got a abundant desert world. Let's go check this one out first. Oh. If I may have a moment. Okay. Yeah, I think the only reason it would say something is if there was something wrong with our morale. There is. Look at that. They're unhappy. Well, morale we can fix. Get that going, and then a uh, 
Biospheres will help with the food situation. Done and done. Okay, what's making morale low? Taxes. Okay. Well, it's still an ultra rich world, so we should be able to keep it under control. Okay. That's a long haul. Another a huge toxic world. I thought that was a going to be something a little better than that. Just a minute of your time, President. Space factory. Oh yes, they want us to build a space factory. Yeah. Probably won't be long now, but All right, we'll go get that anomaly in a moment. Let's go check it out. Oh, hello. Transmission start. This is the overseer of the Meklar Combine, contacting unknown naturally occurring life form. Com frequencies locked. Okay. Well, we found the Meklar. And that takes us to the point where we now need to think about getting the diplomacy tax. What do we get? The anomaly turns out to be a derelict ship. Nice. Floating eerily empty with no signs of its former crew. Your engine. Nice. So we've got a, a bonus scout. That is very useful. Okay. Okay, fleet in need of orders is this one. Let's see what the Meklar discovered. An artifacts desert world. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the space factory is going to be necessary because we're going to want to start putting up uh, walls, so to speak. Alright. Gifting them stuff. One more turn and we're going to have our, um, this is it. Colony number three. A swamp world. Eleven population potential. That's nice. <sighs> Those are quite the trees, huh? All right, so now we start off with the automated factory. Give us that extra tube production. And then we'll build a hydroponic farm and then see where we're at. Okay. A toxic world and a fairly normal world. All right, so let's see how we did with uh, how government support facilities helped here. They helped a fair bit. So taxes are still making them a little unhappy, but we really do need the funds for our project of getting Zarconia into our fold. All right, you're going to go that way. You go up here. So if we're going to be scouting, we need to scout extensively. There's the Mechlar again. Another scout coming at me. If I may have a moment. Okay, so not a lot we can do yet, but. Let's 
let's see, I think, yes, right, a space factory is probably a good bet, and then maybe research lab, and then a colony ship. Oh, no, wait, a destroyer. We need one destroyer. Space factory. Destroyer. Colony ship. For now, that'll do. All right, another pirate fleet to destroy. Carefully, once again. All right. Oh, wait, wh where did they go? All right, that's no good. All right, one down, but we've taken a couple of nasty hits there. All right, there we go. Perfect. Good stuff. Soon we'll be able to bomb these things. A radiated rich. Ooh, what do we have here? A Mechlar world. Okay, so we're very close to the Mechlar home homeland now. Which makes me suspect. Now that thing's starting to get damaged, so I'm not sure if it's auto-repairing each turn or if it's going to... It isn't from the looks of things, but that's okay because we could actually go right here and upgrade, which also might come with some repair assistance. Small desert, and a small ultra-rich desert. Good stuff. Okay, I think we better call it an episode here, guys. Ah, as I suspected, Mechlon has been discovered. All right, let's turn around and go home. We do need to definitely get the Diplotex. Research continues as expected, President. All right, how close are we to our target here? We just keep working on the molecular manipulation and we'll see how long genetic engineering is going to take. But that'll be a job for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this second series. Humanity makes peace of the galaxy, maybe, if we're lucky. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.